Hello and welcome to Rocket League University. Today we are going to be discussing defensive positioning and saves. This will be a tutorial for all ranks, so if you're high ranked or low ranked, you'll be able to find something from this video. Let's get started. First, we should discuss where we need to position ourselves in the goal. Defending the goal is best when working parallel with the goal line. So for example, when I pass this ball to myself using the controls, I am going to rotate back to the post and travel parallel with the goal line. That way I can lunge across the goal line to make a save. Now this applies for higher speeds as well. You want to rotate parallel with the goal line so that you can make a save. So you can see this is much easier than if we travel towards the middle of the goal because if we send this ball to us, you'll see we have to defend from the middle of the net which leaves us in a very vulnerable position afterwards. Saving from the parallel goal line position, we are able to hit the ball towards the corner which is a safe spot and then we can travel directly to the boost pickup. For example, I've given myself 50 boosts here. What you wanna do in this situation is when you're playing defense, you wanna keep the ball as close to you as possible. The best way to position yourself for a shot on the ground is by holding this position right here. This is parallel with the goal line. It works either side, it depends on where the ball is. If the ball is on the left side of the field over there, you're going to rotate this direction and make the save parallel from the goal line about right here. Sometimes it can also be easier to travel in the goal and make the save outwards like so. Now this applies vice versa. If we chip it to that side of the field, we're just going to rotate from this position and hold ourselves parallel with the goal line. This is because as a defender, we wanna keep the ball out of the middle of the field. Our goal is to clear the ball, but also retain possession. And the best way to do this is by rolling it up the walls into the corners and staying close to the ball. The best way to defend aerial shots or players flying in the air is to use the backboard to your advantage. Here's an example of a good clear. I wait for the bounce and I clear the ball without it hitting the ceiling. An example of a bad clear would be as follows. The reason this is a bad clear is because if you send the ball into the ceiling like this, the player that is controlling this mid boost now will have a free ball and is able to air dribble this straight into the center. The best way to save these backward shots is to turn your car around and follow the momentum of the ball. So you can see I turn my car around like this and I use air roll to correct myself. This is going to relieve a lot of pressure because you are knocking the ball off to the side and you can land flat on the back wall. You can watch how I am doing this with my controls. You can see I am just using air roll left to tilt my car in a flat position. Ideally, you wanna to touch this ball into the corner and you wanna avoid hitting it off the backboard like this. Another great way to play defense is by retaining possession of the ball. I'm gonna wait for this ball to approach me. I'm going to hit the brakes as soon as it hits my car and that way I can catch the ball and control it all the way down the field. This is much better than if we just slam the ball off the wall and give it to the opponent. If you see that your opponents are at half field and waiting for you to make a touch, just catch it like this and control the ball. You'll have lots and lots of time to make a play. If you're not that mechanically advanced yet, I would recommend just catching it and just staying in front of it. You can see I'm making plays here without actually using any air roll whatsoever. Pay attention to the timing of when I strike the ball. You can see I am waiting for it to hit the wall first before I flip. This is basically the same idea as if we are waiting for the ball to bounce on the ground. So for example, if I wait for this to bounce, you can see it's a very powerful shot. Don't mind the miss. We're doing the same thing with the wall. We are waiting for it to hit the wall first before we jump. So if you're a high advanced player and you're having a hard time dealing with these type of shots here, I would highly recommend doing what I just did. It, these shots are very difficult to defend, right? When you're backwards. A lot of newer players will jump like this and it end up spiking it into their own net or they have a hard time and they just miss like this. What I recommend is you turn your car upside down, touch the bottom of the ball, and now you can clear it any way you want by using the backboard. So I find the best way to defend these type of shots in high level lobbies is to touch it off the backboard to yourself and try and get a read like this. Let's take a look at some examples of good defense. In this play, this player is going to pop it up and get a flip reset. And you can see I am patient with no boost and I wait for him to give me the ball. In this position, it's obviously very risky, 
but you can see where I've placed my car, I give myself two options. In this position right here, I have to read what he's going to do. By putting myself in this position, right where the wall begins to curve, I can either drive straight and make a save like this, which we did, or if he goes high with the shot, I can drive up the back wall and use this to my advantage. Now, the reason this works is because I'm low boost. If I have high boost here, and I'm around 80 to 100, I would instantly challenge him as soon as he goes up for the flip reset. And the reason I would instantly challenge him is because my teammate is rotating back to net. Another very important example about this play is watch how I retain possession after the touch. You can see I am not hitting the ball away. I am not panicking. I am keeping the ball close to me as much as possible. In this situation, it's very difficult to make a play because I only have five boost. So I decide to flick it so it's out of midfield and it's more safe. Let's take a look at another example of bad positioning, but a good save. You can see here, my teammate challenges for me because I have no boost and I have to anticipate the read. What I've done with my car is I've actually angled it upwards right here. So I, when I make contact with the ball, I know that the ball is going to go straight up because of the way I've angled my car. One thing about playing defense in Rocket League is to basically never give up. Just keep trying and do whatever it takes to keep the ball out of the net. Let's look at an example of a bad clear. This is where the team is applying pressure and you can see instead of catching it, I decide to chip it out in the middle and make a solo play. Luckily, we get away with it, but this is not ideal in this situation. It would have been much better if I was to sit on the back wall and catch this ball and carry it along the left wall where my teammate is down over here. Instead, I opt for the play to chip it out in the middle, and unfortunately, this keeps applying the pressure for the other team. Here's another example of great defense. Even though I am not being pressured, I decide to chip this ball up the wall and end up carrying it out into the center. If we look from our opponent's perspective, you can see they now have to wait and react to me making a play. This is now having them back off and they are on the back foot. Unfortunately, we don't get a goal out of it, but it was definitely the right decision because we've created a lot of space for ourselves and have applied pressure. Here's another example of composed defense. You can see right here, I'm going to catch the ball and attempt to carry this out the whole point you can see here is that i am not panicking under any circumstance so this is actually a quite threatening position for the other team because he's coming at me full speed which means he could demo me here so what i decide to do is instead of play the challenge i play the catch and you can see that's what i've done here in this situation, I know that my teammate just took the mid boost, so there's no way that that orange car could take mid boost. I probably understand that he's going to try and go for that corner. He ends up missing it. So what I do here is, again, composed defense. I'm not panicking under any circumstance. I'm keeping the ball close to me, and this makes the other team back off. The best tip I can give you about playing defense in Rocket League is just not to panic. You can see this shot seems very fast, but I remain calm and I do whatever it takes to keep the ball out of the middle. So at this point in the video, I want to show you the two best ways to make a save, which are by using the back wall. If a player is aerialing, you will use the back wall to make a save. If they are on the ground, you are going to stay on the ground to make a save. If you find that you are rotating back to defense and someone is chasing you, the best way to avoid them is not by turning and spinning away, it's actually to use the roof of the goal. This is something I use quite a bit. If they're chasing you, simply drive back like this, use the roof of the goal, and set yourself down again. Very important to mention, when clearing the ball on defense, you want to roll the ball like this. What I'm about to do would be considered a terrible clear at high level. The reason for this is because once it hits the wall and it returns to the middle, if I'm playing offense, you can see this ball ends up in a great position for us. This is such an easy shooting target. So these are the fundamentals of playing defense in Rocket League. My final tip I'll give you is do not give the other team the ball if you don't have to. If they're not approaching you or they're not pressuring you, just keep it close to you. Try and get a carry, 
or some sort of flick and turn it into a mechanical play. That's going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.